It's a $400 million computerized safety system for Metra, but working out the kinks can sometimes cause delays and confusion. CBS 2's Morning Insider Vince Girasoli went looking into what Metra's doing to make sure riders know exactly what's going on. Good morning, Vince. Good morning, Marissa. It's called Positive Train Control, or PTC, and Metra has been slowly rolling out the safety system on line after line over the past few months. As you said, sometimes along the way there can be glitches that lead to delays, and the way Metra has been explaining this to customers might need some explaining. Metro riders are greeted by a number of announcements over their commute. Your attention, please. The next stop will be stand behind the yellow line. But a new one, which could sound like this, may catch them by surprise. Inbound train number 400 is operating 15 to 20 minutes behind schedule due to positive train control issues. Do you think when most people hear that announcement, they understand what it means? Not really. Metro apologizes for any inconvenience. We are going through growing pains just like every other railroad, whether a commuter railroad, a freight railroad, or passenger railroad in this entire country. Positive Train Control, or PTC, is a federally mandated computerized safety system designed to prevent crashes. The system software that operates pos Positive Train Control is very, very complex. On the top, PTC monitors a train's weight, um, speed, and track conditions taking over control of the train, even stopping it if for some reason an engineer is going too fast or is too close to another vehicle. That can cause a delay. As you can imagine, software does have bugs and once you, you start operating something, you start to work those bugs out. But when we went behind the scenes with Bruce Marchese, Metro's chief operating officer, we learned sometimes PTC kicks in because of a glitch in the software, causing engineers to stop the train and reboot the system mid-run. And that takes time. It's a learning curve. PTC had a rough rollout last summer. The system increases the time it takes to flip a train for its next run by about 10 minutes. Debuting on the BNSF line, it meant adjusting almost the entire schedule, which led to more crowded trains as riders adjusted. PTC is now in use at varying degrees on Metro's BNSF, UP, and Rock Island lines. Metro runs every weekday about 686 trains, and PTC is currently in operation on about 30% of them. But that represents about 50% of all Metro commuters. Metro believes as engineers become more familiar with the system, troubleshooting the glitches will take less time. Until then, we might hear more announcements like these. Positive train control issues. Now, PTC is a federal mandate, and it needs to be operational on all rail systems across the country by the end of 2020. Chances are, over the past few days, if you've made it to the train station at all, you've probably list been listening closely for information about weather delays. But if you hear something about PTC now, hopefully you're better able to understand it. Reporting live from the Davis Street Metro Station in Evanston, I'm Vince Girasoli, CBS2 News. Very good to know, Vince. All right, thank you.